All right, it's live. Looks like it's public. We're winning today. <laughs> oh, How are you guys all we're doing? We're not winning. Hold on. Oh, we're not oh, winning. Jamie didn't was, have her phone that was silenced. Caitlin. I wonder if she needs something. Tell them where we're at. I'll be right back. Well, we are at Plant Bar AZ. We're having the grand opening today, um, two to six. So just in a little bit here, uh, Arizona time, we will be having the grand opening and they're cutting ribbons. It's lots of fun. You can see we've kind of done some of the things that you guys have been seeing all week. We've got the display back here, fun old shelf, and this barn wood fake bar that we did with the stamps. This is just plywood up underneath here. I think we showed you guys that already, but now it's all done. It's sealed. It's got four coats of Sweet Pickens top coat on it, and it's amazing. Jamie will be right back in case you're wondering. But this is where all the stuff is going to get built. And I'm on a selfie stick, guys. We're going to carry you around and walk around with you here, so it might get a little shaky. I'm going to try to hold it as steady as I can. Um, but all kinds of fun stuff. You come here and you can build your little terrariums, which are like this here. And get your plants and kind of just set them up exactly how you want and they'll help you and you can build it yourself. Put all these succulents together over here. All kinds of fun stuff. All right, I'm back. And Jamie's back. Here's the controversial bohemian buff armoire. I actually think it turned out amazing. It's very like wild and blue and drippy, but with all these green plants, it kind of like tones it down. You want to give them a pan of it yep. so they can see that. We use Bohemian Blue, Old 57, Mermaid Tail, Sea Glass, Squirt Bottle, and then we did the knob topper stamps here with the mandala with the paint. So it kind of blends well. That one turned out really, really cute. I love the way that turned out. And then we went picking the other day. I don't know if you guys saw, we had a rattlesnake that we encountered. But this was one of the things we found is this giant window, which is awesome because there's only one window in the entire shop over here. So we want to reflect a lot of light. So we've got this giant window right here. We've got the skylight. So that kind of gives the illusion of here, more hang on. light. Let me, let me give them a good pan oh, of the yeah. whole wall. Can you see it? Can you I can't see, see it. I'm dancing. Okay. So this, this is one of my favorite things in here, actually. Above, yeah, the, above the table that I built, we've got these fun chairs that we refinished. But... David had this old root bowl of a stump. This is ironwood. And then we put these air plants in here. These don't require water. You just kind of spritz them. them every now and then, not often. But it looks they like don't. It's a giant fairy garden. Like, flip it up a little more so they can see. Flip back. There you go. It's hanging in the skylight. It's a, it's a plantelier instead of a <laughs> chandelier or a stubbelier because it's a stub. So but that turned out it looks great awesome. over the farm table. I want to show them this. We used our new stencils to make some. We just used drop cloth and the paint, and then we heat set it to make our own one of a kind fabric. So we've got this one, and then we've got this chair over here. We did the Living Simply. We got to play a little more. It's not perfect, but I think the stencil turned out pretty cute. Yeah. And then well, the thing is, I think we had to, uh, we used our big little C stencil brush that we always use. Yeah, I think and we need to maybe use the flat tops. So yeah, it was a little big. We'll have to practice. Okay, we've got all of our signs up here. Zeb framed those out this morning. These are all the new stencil designs. And then we, people have been asking about the globes. This one, he took the ugly plastic base off and just used this old piece of wood that we found hanging around here. Zeb cut it down. Turned out pretty great. Then we've got this giant piece. If you've been following us, it was just like natural wood, but then we painted it and this hardware was not black. The black hardware was expensive. So I used Rust-Oleum spray paint, did some nice even coats and let it cure really good. And now we've got the black hardware that I wanted for like half the price. All right, let's see what else. Did you show them? I haven't shown them the, the sales class. counter yet. The sales counter? No. My favorite, the little sheep business You guys remember when there? we got that at the market? <laughs> and then we've got down here air plants and then we just did some milk paint with um, black paint underneath and we did the shellac and blow dryer or no lacquer and blow dryer to get it all chippy crackle that one turned out pretty good and this is just old corrugated tin that was sitting around on the property yeah. and old pallets is what we framed of, that out with a lot of the stuff is found like it was on the property we'll take you outside a little bit and show you some fun things that they found out here and we've got more of our furniture over here as you come in 
We're using old chairs inside and outside to kind of elevate plants, which is really fun. Jamie just waxed that. She decided yeah. that it needed a transfer, so she waxed it, so it's got it's not dry yet. Yeah, that'll that'll eventually, hopefully, before two o'clock dry. And then we've and got another transfer on this piece. Look, it's the it's the big mirror. Woo woo! And then we've also got this display. So one of the things that's kind of fun, my nephew said, I want a square display stacked when we come in and he was talking about building it and i just went to the goodwill and i found this table which doesn't really match this one but we painted them the same and then planked the top and now we've got this huge display i think it cost me twenty dollars for the table on the bottom and five dollars for this table and then we just used some pallet wood that we have and now we've got this display when you come in it looks pretty impressive and didn't cost a lot of money plus it makes the corbels look good plus it makes the corbels look good oh and then this, somebody was asking, they wanted to see this, was from Hawaii. I don't know if you guys remember these. I got three for 50 cents. My nephew planted it. This arrangement's $24.95. Originally a bunt pan. Originally a bunt pan, vintage bunt pan from Hawaii. We've got two that are not planted, so if somebody comes and wants to plant them, they can. And then, want to talk about our display? Yep, but you, well, you wanted to talk a lot about the display, because this is I basically did. a closet. So this is the, what they gave me, this little space in here, and I had to fit hundreds and hundreds of projects. So first things first, we put L brackets in. Were these from Lowe's? Uh, the L brackets were from Home Depot. Home Depot. So the, the brackets are what cost the most. They were the big heavy duty ones on the end were $5 a piece. Okay. And then the ones in the center were like $1.99, okay. just eight inch brackets. But one, they're super sturdy. They're into studs, so they'll stay there a long time. And it took no time at all. The, the boards were already planed and sanded, so we just cut them down, left them natural, so that way all the paint would pop. And then I went to Walmart, and I found these baskets in here. I got four of them because I just needed something to fit in here. These were $11.95 each, and Zeb has them screwed into the studs. And they're just kind of floating, but they are screwed into the studs, and I just make sure not to put anything super heavy here on the corner. Here, let me show you. I just used more of that awesome pallet wood. Maybe it's too yeah. close. I don't know if it'll zoom in. We're but, hoping you can see that. <laughs> but there's just a strip of pallet wood back there that I screwed into the stud, and that's holding the basket. Yeah. You don't have to spend a ton of money, but you just sometimes need to get creative because every space that you're in is a little bit different. Right here, we didn't use pegboards because we didn't want to come out and then block the display. So I just found these were $9.95 a piece, at Walmart and I used three of them and I've got all my transfers hanging everybody can see the designs so I think this I may actually um, take some of the things I did here and put it in the shop in uh, Utah and then of course when I do my paint brushes I love clear glass jars these were four dollars each at Hobby Lobby that way they can see what's in there they're pretty and displayed well let's see what else do we have we got stencils on the side we got of our the stencils. plant bar. we actually just put a nail and hung our stencils so people can see them. Of course, you gotta have a step stool if you got anything up high. So we just have a step stool close so people can reach that and the baskets above. Don't forget the barn door. That was the picking we'll fire. Oh, and then I was gonna talk about these. Oh, the samples. So I normally order my own samples, but I forgot. So I found these at Hobby Lobby. I think I had to buy two packs. They were like $3.99 each. And then instead of using like a chalk marker, these are just paint markers, really fine paint markers. And you need black and white because some colors won't show up on the darker ones, like the black ones, obviously you need a white one. And Zeb literally just nailed them into the wall. Done. Yeah, you can see the fancy nail holes and we could fill those if we, we cared, but we don't. We're not that fancy. Now everybody can see the colors and we went ahead and sealed them so they could see the actual amount. And then of course we tied it all together down here with a rug. So this is like my little January vintage shopping area. We've got our sign just nailed into here. And then Zeb, you want to tell them about this? So that is here, an I'll old... Here, I'll hold the camera. They want to see you. <laughs> they want to see me. So this is just an old barn door. And we it's from the turn of the century, early 1900s, off a of barn in Phoenix. Wow, you're crazy angle, though. Sorry. Gotta keep it flat. Keep it flat, Jamie. Uh, <laughs> and the hardware and the rail were intact. It was missing this section on the wood. So I just took some pallets apart and we nailed those back on. They're kind of a little bit different on the color. And then this is the original barn door wood, the coloration down here. But yeah, that, that wood on the bottom's original. Yeah. And then we replaced the top with pallet wood because behind there is a utility closet. <laughs> yeah, so we you don't want to see the utility food. closet. But the hardware is the cool part here. And it says RW, I don't know where that's from, but we left it rustic and rusty and we love it. It needs a little bit of WD-40, but it slides good. 
and then just some plants and baskets up top there. Zeb, did you already talk to him about the plant boxes and then the shelf over here? A little bit. I, I mean, kind of while we were waiting on you, but the plant boxes are cool. They deserve more. So these are, this is my nephew's baby. He wanted people to walk in and immediately be able to see all the plants. So when people go up to bar, they can actually say, I want that plant there, or I want that plant there, and they can take the plant out and actually pot it here, which is the kind of the idea of the plant bar. And then we found this old board, and it happened to be the exact width of the sign. So Zeb just used a couple extra brackets and screwed it in, and we're good to go. Sometimes the best plans are things you don't plan on. We didn't know they would have this wood, but it looks really good. Or the stuff you find for free. This wood was just here on the property rotting away. All right, did we talk about the portals? Oh, this is our old bin that we had just yeah, sitting in the, in the garage. this has been in the garage forever, so we decided to bring it here so it could get used to like house all their rock. And all the fun succulents. If you love succulents, they've got them. And cactus. I think this one's waiting to be tagged. That's what that yep. is. Do you want to go show them outside? Yeah, let's I go think, show them outside. Here, I'm going to give them a good pan from the entry so they can see the whole room kind of okay. tied together. Of course the wind is going to pick up. Yeah, the wind's picking up so it might get windy outside. But, but here is what the room looks like just all together here. I'm within here. It's not a huge space. It's, it's the about whole building. It's about something square feet all total, yeah. including the office. <laughs> including the office and the bathroom. So it's not a huge space, but lots of stuff in here. And it's not, I don't feel like it looks overly cluttered. You know what I do love that I didn't expect to love is how all of these plants really soften all the painted furniture and add like a natural element. So I think I might incorporate, I might try to take some plants home and see if I can keep them alive and put them in the shop in Utah because they're cute. All right, All right let's, let's, let's go outside. It might be windy, the highway's there, so bear with us. Hopefully right, the so sound's okay. Hi. Hey, say hi, David. Hello. David's hi, the David. owner of this joint. Welcome to the plant bar. I'm uh, trying to direct traffic right now because- People are showing up early. This I, is my I older, older uh, better looking nephew. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you going to be this year? 40? I'm going to Something be 40. Like that. But this is his plant bar and his dream. We want to show him just a few things that we have going on out here. There were some really fun finds that actually were on yeah. the property, right? Yes. Just kind of dug everywhere. So show him this first one. In fact, it's funny. I found, I saw this and David's like, what's this? And I'm like, it's a double wash barrel. These things are like highly coveted. This would Zeb flip it down a little bit. They can see it. This is just on the property, which is way fun. And everything's for sale. So if you come and you want it, Make us an offer, or it's priced. All right, it we might also be priced. found uh, the Wait, wait, let's show oh. them this cool hutch first, because so this is cool too. So where was this hutch from, David, your friend's house? It's, yeah, it's in the far reaches of New River. So <laughs> Hanging out in the back. As far out as you could go, the road ends, the dirt road ends, and there it was. Yeah, I think it's pretty awesome. It's the perfect plant display. We had something we didn't quite get painted yet, so now it's a plant display. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't get that finished. Oh, it's even got Bondo on the corner for added charm. Yeah, it works. We did, um, my sister brought us these chairs and they're kind of all over the place. They've got flowers on them and plants and it just kind of brings things off the ground, which I love. And then Zeb's friend Wyatt brought us a bunch of these cool, they're like chippy old chairs. Yeah, these chairs are the, sweet. If you can see the detail in the back of them. They let them sit outside and they got real nice and weathered out here in Arizona. And then we found this clawfoot tub with, complete with feet. And so we planted it out, but it's also for sale. So there you go. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to show them? They've got the, we found that picking. I don't know what you would call that. Uh, it's now a plant, a plant stand. It's yeah. a plant stand. This came from the same place that had the rattlesnake. Yeah, that this was, is this is the rattlesnake plant stand. This is from the same, you know, I found the rattlesnake and we found the plant stand. I feel like it was worth it. I've got hair in my mouth, it's a little windy. Um, what else do we have? I don't know, you just got all these fun displays set around. You can kind of see how you might envision stuff in your own place. And then a big old fireplace. They eventually want to do events and things like that over here, but not quite yet. We're not quite ready for that just yet. All right, I think, oh, and then this was found on the property too. Oh yeah. <laughs> this, this property is like a gold mine for awesome yeah. stuff. This little pallet on wheels. It and had like a solar out. light thing on it, but it was uh, <laughs> the, the solar sun got to it. It was all brittle. It was all broken. broken. So now it's, it used to have a light, like it, Oh, coming this up. This light thing, yeah. yeah it was well, now cool. it works great for wheeling plants around on the oh, patio here. I wanted here. to Perfect. show them the pallet wall, too, because that was kind of ingenious. Oh, I was okay. like, oh, that's a smart way to display plants. 
All right, show them the plant pallet wall, and then we'll give them all the info on how to get here and how to find us. This fence that's made out of old pallets, and my nephew was has these six plants. Instead of like just putting them on the ground, he just hung them on the wall, and it took about I don't know three seconds. So it works great. Sometimes you got to get creative when you're putting things on display. It's got all the marigolds. All right, so right there that highway that's i-17 you get off on anthem way or new river road, and you, road. The frontage road. and you go on the east frontage road we'll drop um is caitlin on there i don't know if caitlin's on if caitlin, caitlin if you're on would you drop the address if not when we're no longer live we'll drop the link to the event page and the address so you just keep coming on and then the best way i find it there's a sign out here that's big yellow sign we're right before that sign just pull on over in and then I'll show you what it looks like here. Because we'll be here from 2 to 6 today. Talking to everybody and saying hi are, are and meeting everybody. Sign? I'm filming the sign. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can see it. But that's where we're at. And we're super excited. And our paint and our products will all be here. Um, Even when we're long yeah, gone. When we, when we go back up to Utah, we're still going to have the stuff down here local. So you guys, if you're local to the area, you don't have to get it shipped. You can just come pick out what you want and do your project right now today. If you're new to our channel, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Bye, guys. Love you. Oh, and we won't be live tonight with a thrift haul. Sorry, guys. Yeah, no thrift haul tonight. <laughs> Next week. All right, we're going to go do this thing. We'll catch you later. Bye.